Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Um, we have got silicon babies today. Who have you got, Mr. B? I have got the lovely lake. And she's looking absolutely delicious today in florals all over. She's got a pink dress covered in flowers. Oh, isn't she lovely? She's beautiful. And I have got the equally beautiful angel Helena Rose. And she's in grey uh, with love is all you need on her sweatshirt and a beautiful pink fluffy heart. And this tutu skirt with the baubles in all different colours underneath the the pale grey netting and little pink socks and she looks very very sweet and she has the most beautiful ash blonde hair and violet eyes gazing out at you from her beautiful little face. Now today I want to talk about something quite serious. Um, I've touched on this subject before and I've probably talked about it before but I want to talk about it today. Um, Everybody, I think, who has a reborn channel of any size has to deal with some degree of trolling and hate comments, meanness, things like that. Um, it's very difficult. Some people can just brush it off and ignore it. I admire them incredibly. Wish I could. Um, we have to deal with trolling every week of our life, don't we, Mr. B? Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm usually the filter, aren't I? Yes. So uh, we know that there are going to become um, days on Facebook, we know when it's going to happen, when um, there are going to be um, Facebook posts to the Strawberry Moon um, page saying, you know, or, or either from the very mild question like, what is this doll? And that kind of thing through to what I would deem to be abuse. Yes. Um, last week, I was actually sent some hate mail and it really, really shook me. Um, meanness on Facebook and YouTube I've seen before and I've, you know, to a certain extent got used to but when someone actually takes the trouble to find out your email address and sends you a long email saying for things like how sorry they are that your life is so wrapped up in fantasy that you've lost your grip on reality and then trotting out the same cliches that everybody who takes the trouble to be mean to you trots out um, it is, it's very hurtful. Um, I've heard other people talking about this, um, and I'd like to say my own things to answer this kind of meanness and hoping that somehow someone will hear this. And if it prevents one person from putting fingers to keyboard, then it will have done its work. So the first thing that gets levelled at me and thousands like me is reborns are a dangerous fantasy, they're a morbid obsession, um, you've lost your grip on reality. Um, I would say no, no and no. There is nothing dangerous about reborns. They are completely harmless. In fact, I would say they are, they have been in my life an enormous force for good. They stopped me from being a completely bitter, self-absorbed person who was profoundly depressed and had no hope to being a person who could deal with whatever life throws at her almost and a person who is able to focus on positives and is full of joy 
yes, I do get my bad days, the same as everybody else. My life is very far from perfect, as, as most people's are. But reborns have really helped me very far from harm me. It is a completely harmless hobby. Reborns are a morbid obsession. Not everybody uses reborns to help heal them from some kind of loss um, or, or grief. A lot of people have reborns because they love to look at them because they're beautiful works of art. It's true that I had them to help me heal from the fact that I could never have babies. It was a hard thing to deal with, but a lot of people have them for a lot of different reasons and you can't go generalizing like that. But even if um, they do have them to help them heal from a stillborn child or from a miscarriage or, or whatever, it isn't a morbid obsession. It's something that people need, something that helps people. And the third thing, you're losing your grip on reality. That is just so not true. I know very well that this is a doll. She is not real. She is made from silicon. She is not a baby. She never can be a baby. Um, and in no way could it ever replace a child. But I choose to pretend. And pretending makes my life happier. So what harm am I doing you or anyone else? And what, you know, what right do you have to judge me or anybody? however they live their lives, if they're hurting nobody. What, what harm am I doing you? So the second thing, the next thing is, they always say the same thing. Get a dog, get a cat, or you could adopt or, adopt or foster a child. You don't have to give all your love to a hunk of plastic. First of all, I know lots of people who have pets and they find them an incredible help. But personally, there are reasons why I can't have them. I have allergies, I have health problems. Um, this building is a pet-free zone. And having a pet for me would not be the answer. Secondly, adopt or foster a child. Now, I have said in the past that a blind person cannot adopt or foster a child. That is incorrect, as I have found out, and very unfair to blind people. I've since learned that blind people have been and are being very good adoptive and foster parents. But in my case, it would not work because again, I have health issues and I do not choose to bring a child into this setup. I would not be able to care for one. It would be profoundly unfair to bring a child which has already suffered trauma in its life into my world, which is, you know, problematical at times. It would be very unfair and selfish of me. And I care about children. And I don't just want a child for my own selfish reasons. It would be very, very unfair, even if I was suddenly able to have a baby of my own at this stage. I'm far too old for it now. But even if I were, I wouldn't do it, even though I, I would love to have a baby more than anything else in the world. I wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be fair to bring a child into the world at this stage. So that doesn't answer. And that's, you know, another of the things that is leveled at me. Another thing that people say to me is, why do you spend all this money on, 
you know, thousands of pounds on dolls when you could be giving money to starving children in Africa. You could be giving money to charity. First of all, you have no idea what goes on in people's lives. You see me for 10 minutes on a YouTube screen. You do not know how I spend my money or how I spend my life. As it happens, I give all I can to children's charities. We both do. Don't we, Miss B? Mm. You have no way of knowing that. So you have no right to prejudge what I spend my money on. And even if it were true that I spend all my money, every penny I have on dolls, it still wouldn't be any of your business. You don't have a right to judge me. You don't have a right to judge anybody. I think that's the bottom line, really. There's so much intolerance and judgmentalism in this world. So many people look at others down their noses for, for reasons of race, reasons of religion, reasons of sexual orientation, all kinds of reasons. And I think it's just so sad. There's no need for it. There's enough problems in everybody's lives without us judging how other people live. You get on with your own life, okay? And don't judge how I live mine. I'm not hurting you. I'm not hurting anybody. You don't have to look at my pictures. You don't have to watch my videos. And you don't have to be mean to me or to anybody. Kindness costs nothing. And if you can't be kind, just leave me alone. That's all I ask. Just this once I've had my say and having had it, I will now quietly shut up. Well, I think you've done very well. So tomorrow, I'm going to be back with Azori. We haven't seen Azori for quite some time and we're going to do the comment roundup. So I hope you'll come back and join us for that. It's a great comment roundup, although I say it myself. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a great one if you've done it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so do come back and join us tomorrow. And in the meantime, take good care of yourselves. And enjoy your wonderful babies. <laughs> and and let's, let's be good, good to each other. other. Bye-bye.